on Opening Soon by Design. Well, at least it's not like pink. High-end fashion meets Art Deco. You're going to find that your design is going to have to almost identically replicate that. A couple in love are planning a wedding and opening a store at the same time. You're not really grasping the whole reality on this. Of course I am. What about the wedding? I mean, you're not even thinking about that. If you miss the season, you know, you may not make it through the first year. Miami, Florida. The sun, the sea, and the fashion make for a sizzling resort town. Roma Cohen grew up here and learned the importance of style by working in his father's clothing store. I've been working with my father for many years now and it's been a really great experience. Then one day, a special girl walked into the store. She was beautiful and charming and really seemed like a fun girl. I knew Roma was the one pretty much from the day I met him. They fell in love, and five years later, they're engaged to be married. Before they tie the knot, they're taking a big risk. They're opening a store of their own called Alchemist with haute couture clothing. I want it to be a lot of special pieces that you can't find everywhere that people will be able to collect and almost like little pieces of art. The store's name means one who transforms something ordinary into a thing of great value. They're hoping to do that with their store. The city really needs something really special, especially in the area here on Lincoln Road. Lincoln Road is the most coveted location for retail in Miami. Tourists flock here to shop, dine, and just be seen. Roma and Erica's new space is in one of the most cherished Art Deco buildings in the city. Their budget is $200,000. We're taking a huge loan out, and it's all of our savings that we've been saving for years and years and years, so it's kind of like you got one shot at it and we can't blow it or we're screwed, really. Their architect is Warren Sir, a family friend. He specializes in residential design and has created some of the most beautiful homes in Miami. This is the old Don Johnson house from the old Miami Vice days. Warren grew up here and has a deep affection for the city's architectural heritage, including the building where the store will be. There was a theater in the space right next to uh, the store. And uh, every Saturday morning, all the kids on Miami Beach got free passes. So everyone hung out on Lincoln Road. Hey, Warren. Mama, how are you? He has How's decades of experience to offer the young couple. It's a pleasure. I've heard so much know, about you. Likewise. What I'd like the store to be, I'd like it to return to its original. I think another nice aspect of the, the soaring ceiling is that the structure would be exposed and there are a series of beams, mm -hmm. concrete beams. So, it, uh, so it, it creates a kind of a rhythm to the space that's very nice. The design for the store will recapture the grand style of the Art Deco era. Do you like it? Yeah, I think it looks nice. Well, I understand that the tenant will be moving out soon. Yeah, he's almost done. He should be finishing up uh, in about two weeks for sure now because they've been telling me that the whole year. That I'm really nervous. Yeah. But it doesn't look promising. Their new space is still occupied by a shoe store. And the owner, Jose, he was supposed to move out four months ago. Roma and Erica want to get in the space the fastest possible. I'm sure the building wants as well, and I, I my, myself as well. This doesn't look at all like he's in the process of moving. I mean, this would take two weeks to move all this merchandise. But Jose can't move because his new space... Is this one or that one? No, this is, uh, this is the cosmetic store. He's over here. ...has been held up by permits. All of our inventory is coming in this week. They've got $100,000 of inventory, and they can't just leave it sitting around. So they've opened a temporary store around the corner. we got to move all this stuff quickly. We, we still to... have stuff coming in the next two weeks that we have to move. We're getting married, so it's kind of just, it's a strain on the relationship to kind of jump into this, and it's also, you know, our future. I'm really glad that we've decided to be 
in this building. There's another hurdle they have to overcome. William carries with the Historical Preservation Board and wields a lot of power in Miami. The Art Deco District was designated in 1979, which brought a whole new focus to this extraordinary architecture. The new entrance has to be just right. The door where we, where we had it centered is going to be right over mm -hmm. here. You're going to find that your design is going to have to almost identically replicate that. Once you have to be able to swing a door out without, without swinging it into the sidewalk. He even controls the inside of the store, and the terrazzo flooring has got to stay. The terrazzo floor is important. It almost became an indigenous building material of Miami Beach. We couldn't afford to put down you know, the fine marble floors or the, you know, the highly polished granites. Roma and Erica will have to find the money to refinish it. Is it a challenge to match exactly? Absolutely it is. Yeah. He then inspects the back of the store where the mezzanine will be. When I was saying that this was a challenge, I was not exaggerating. Well, this is the existing railing. Um, and uh, it's a classic of its time. The plan is to remove the wall and expose the Art Deco railing. Mm -hmm. It'll be interesting when you remove this part of the mezzanine. The inspector is thrilled that the store will return to its original splendor. But Roma and Erica have their work cut out for them. I think that they will do very well. If they have a well-run business, they will do very well. There really is no option for it not working. We really have to make it work. Would you buy it for $1,200? 2,000 people in town for the boat show, and no one even knows I'm there. All right, we'll just take it day by day. Roma and Erica are opening a store in Miami. If the current tenant would only leave. Yeah, because this doesn't look at all like he's in the process of moving. Well, let's check it out. They've had to open a temporary store to sell some of their inventory. We still have stuff coming in the next two weeks that we have to move. And they're hamstrung by regulations administered by the Preservation Board. Opening day is six weeks away. Roma brings his dad and the contractor to the store location for an update. Every month it becomes another month delayed. It's supposed to be the middle of January. You know, that becomes a problem with the scheduling. I need to uh, get you, reschedule my uh, schedules again. The problem is you're going to lose a season now. Roma drops the idea that the contractor and his crew work 24-7 once they get the space. It's possible in some situations where people work uh, throughout the night. You might be able to pull a 24-hour shift with some of the guys one or two days, one but two not, not everybody's willing. And then becomes a cost, you know, you have to pay double the time, double the amount of money. I mean, uh, when it's over time, the price is double the... Uh... Yes, of course. Are you ready to start right away? I'm ready to start, but uh, now it looks like I had to juggle my schedule again. And this is like the third time I had to juggle the schedule to, to accommodate you, Roma. Uh -huh. I would like to accommodate Roma because I, I have been doing a lot of work for his father. I did one store already for his father and I bring him out of his house. So now I'm taking care of his son. Uh, great, just keep me posted so I can, uh, you know, take care of matters. Okay, I mean. All right, Felix, See nice seeing you. Bye, thanks. Roma, thank you. The contractor agrees to do Roma a big favor and push back his schedule one more time. He has to be willing and he has no control. He's depending on, on other people. There's nothing really that he can really do. Where are you girls from? Roma and Erica have missed many key holiday weekends that would have brought tourists to their store. But this is nice, it's like really flattering. Their temporary location is off the beaten track with barely a trickle of customers. It's $312. Okay, thanks. Now, they're missing a huge international boat show. I'm missing the whole weekend. There's uh, 50,000 people in town for the boat show. And I'm right around the corner from where it is, but no one even knows I'm there. Is there anything you can cancel? You have to cancel as much, much, much as possible. You're going to be stuck. I've been canceling as much as I can. You need to talk to your suppliers. Tell them the truth, explain to them. Some of Roma and Erica's high-end suppliers are in New York City. And if they want to maintain good standing with them, they have to keep ordering, even if they have a very low budget. So welcome to Chloe. I'm going to have the models come out with some of the key looks. There's a theme called Factory Girl. The shorts are perfect for Miami. This is a real tomboy look, kind of a varsity style sweater. And this one retails for around a thousand. So this is our most expensive dress in the collection. This one, especially the white dress, I think is yeah. perfect for Miami. What do you think? 
Do you think the price point is, is easy to sell? They agree on the styles, but not on the prices. This tuxedo dress sells for $1,200. Would you buy it for $1,200? Possibly. This leather vest, two thousand dollars. It's almost like an art piece with all the zippers and the. Yeah, but it's the know. summertime when we're opening, and we don't need so many pieces for two thousand dollars. These jeans, six hundred dollars. Yeah, but it's a beautiful jean. I mean, it's like. But they're six hundred dollars, Erica. Roma tries to reel her in to keep their inventory cost down, but that creates another problem. After doing your quantities, um, you know, I don't think we're reaching the minimum order. This label requires a minimum order of $20,000, so Roma and Erica will have to rethink their selections. Well, between the $55,000 over budget we are here and the store costing already twice as much as we thought, I'm starting to, I'm starting to freak out a little bit. I mean, you're not really grasping the whole reality on this. Of course I am. What about the wedding? I mean, you're not even thinking about that. Well, the wedding, I'm, yeah, you're right. I'm not thinking about that. Two days later in Miami, Erica's out picking flowers for the wedding. As far as the centerpieces, um, some of the things that she was looking at were these lampshades. Some are actually hanging from the ceiling. Do you think Roma will like it? Yeah, I think he would like it. Okay, great. This particular entrance arrangement is $6,000. The lighting you mentioned was about $7,000. Uh, about $7,000. This is kind of adding up quickly. I'm gonna talk to my fiance about it and Perfect. see where we're at. So how was your day? It was good, I met with the florist. Centerpieces start between like $300 and up to 1000 How much of a budget do you think you wanted to spend on the flowers? Well, I didn't really think about a budget. I just kind of wanted... Well, that's the way you do these sort of things. You think about how much you want to spend on it and then you work around that. You don't just get whatever you want to get. It's definitely stressful, everything, you know, planning a wedding, opening a business. You saw Jose, it is his Erica store. decides to change the subject, wondering if the shoe store owner is any closer to moving out of their space. He's been close for the last three months. Every time I look in the store, it looks the same to me. We could start the demolition hopefully Wednesday next week, but mm -hmm. I don't know, tomorrow's another day. All right, we'll just take it day by day. Their opening day is supposed to be five weeks away. What do we do? Well, at least it's not like pink. Roma and Erica are soon to be married, but the opening of their store, not as soon as they'd like. I mean, this would take two weeks to move all this merchandise. It's being held up by another retailer, so they're months behind schedule. I've been canceling as much as I can. They're bickering over inventory. But it's a beautiful jean. But they're $600, Erica. Which is almost impossible to sell in their temporary store. Right now, look at the store. We have $75,000 worth of merchandise in the store now. He hasn't even moved out of his space yet. Opening day is supposed to be two weeks away. At least the previous tenant is moving out. The last of Jose's merchandise is making its way to his new location. So the space belongs to Roma, finally. By the time we open, we'll be almost a full year delayed. But things are uh, starting to move along. We kind of see the light now, and we're anxious to get in there already. Hi. Hey, How Gerard. You? How's it going? Good. Good in you. Roma wants to put up a sign. Well, from what I was told, they said that you're not even really allowed to put the sign. They give us a, a written warning, and I think after 30 days, you have a, a fine of $100 a day. One month is But one month is it. good. Yeah. They'll take any publicity they can get. Erica arrives. Hey! And they finally get to see their space together. A new section of the terrazzo floor is revealed. Watch out, watch out. I hate this. What do we do? Well, at least it's not like pink. Can we make it white? Like, is there a way when they sand it down for them to... I don't know. Looking at the terrazzo floor, I'm just, you know, I'm really not happy. We have to get them to match. I don't know. We were pretty much assured that the white terrazzo was throughout, and of course that one area that was covered that has orange swirls everywhere. All right, let's let them just, you know, demolish this place already and get going already.
they visit the local welder. What's up, bro? How you doing? How you doing, brother? They want to put metal sculptures into the space, so he's creating hand-welded racks to hold the clothing. Very glad we went with the quarter inch. Thank you, Warren. The orange is rust. Oh, okay. And you probably don't want rust on here because it gets on the clothes. Right, that's then, true. But, but even once just it with seals. the natural steel look, once uh -huh. we seal it, it won't rust. But it's still, it's just a nice, just real natural uh -huh. steel look. What kind of time frame are we talking about for uh, days, installation? Be all wrapped up and done. I mean, my end of it, about six weeks. Six weeks. Six weeks. hundred percent. But their opening is supposed to be in two weeks. I don't know exactly when our opening party is going to be, but we are planning a fashion show that we're going to be doing in two weeks. All right, let's take a look at this terrazzo. The fashion show may have to be elsewhere. Well, it's a concern for us. Uh, how, do you, how do you feel? This is one terrazzo floor. This is a different terrazzo floor. It was not unusual in the 30s and 40s that they had uh, these uh, spaces that were open to the elements where people could come in off the street. Luckily, the terrazzo in this outer area is in such bad shape, they'll be able to replace it completely. I can't imagine that historic preservation is gonna ask you to restore this. Opening day is 10 days away. What's going on up there? Right now, let's just get them all stressed. I can get them, it's fine. Tell them the in Miami, Florida, the previous tenant has finally vacated the location for Roma and Erica's new store. Demolition is underway. All right, let's let them just, you know, demolish this place already and get going already. The fixtures are being created. But it's still, it's just a nice, just real natural uh -huh. still. And the store sign is up. Well, everybody's been anxious to know when we're finally opening. My clients, our suppliers, our friends, and, you know, we're really sick of hearing it now at this point. We've been having people ask us that for the last year now. Well, it's pretty trash still. The garbage isn't really out yet. What are these sparks coming from? I don't know. Could be a lot worse, I guess, but still quite a bit of a mess. Construction, at best, is always very challenging and very stressful. Uh, we've run into a few snags. Construction is so behind, they have no choice. They've had to make a radical change in plans. We basically plan to just stay in the temporary store where we're at until the store is completely ready. They've decided to forget about the new space and focus on the temporary store. They're going ahead with their plans for the fashion show. This is our first shot at really just getting the name out there and getting everybody to see it and, and get some, some buzz kicking. We've sort of been stalled through the whole season and this will kind of give us that last kick before everything pretty much dies down here. The temporary store may be off the beaten path, but it's bright, it's airy, and it's holding $100,000 worth of merchandise. Hi. Hello, the owner. Nice to meet you. We got a bunch of postcards and a bunch of really important people in the city going over there. So I think when you do get this on, you should have like maybe like one kind of down. The models look great, the looks look really good. And then Somewhere his I chair. have a master list of like what goes next. Right, so right. That's the whole theme of the show is uh, Punk Miami. Punking Miami or? Just Miami. Punk Miami. Boom. How are you? Good. Two Jessicas. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna be Jess tonight. This one is the other Jess. Oh my fuck, I have shows in these that I already saw. It's great. They're great yeah. fitting jeans. It's closed. Um, no, you can come in. No, we're opening up now. Okay. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. The fashion show is at one of Miami's hottest clubs. Be careful that the sticky pads don't. Blonde, do you mind taking her hair down too? Okay, you know, it's cool. I ran everything by Rama and he said it was all cool. I feel like having the show here is such a better result than having it in the store. They've invited the most influential members of Miami's fashion elite. I'm gonna try not to stress out. Try to make it like 30 seconds if you can. Should I be stressed? 
the show is a resounding success. I thought it was going to be a casual, small thing, and I saw these hot little dresses and a very sexy little show. It was a lot of fun. I think Lincoln Road really needs a store like Alchemist. Can't wait to go and have a little mini shopping spree. The who's who of Miami is just going to be there. It's going to be really cool. They didn't get their new store, but they've created a buzz around the temporary location. I think this worked out better because we were able to show our clothing versus it just being on a rack. Everybody seemed to really love all the clothes and all the looks and it was a lot of hard work putting it all together. Everything's good, we're both happy. The timing was perfect, the music was good, the vibe was good, so we're happy. Centerpieces start between like $300 and up to $1,000. So it's kind of like a range. $1,000 per each Yeah, one? for each table. And there's going to be 25 tables. And then so there's... spent $25,000 just on the flowers? Well, that's the main part, is, you know, that's 